with, with Jeff Henderson, the chief executive of Windflow Technology, two thirds of the way through his roadshow across the country, talking about his capital raising uh, for the purposes of expanding the business. Uh, Jeff, what stage is the company at in its evolution? Well, we've completed our product development now. We've got a great track record at Teruriho, one of the windiest wind farms in, in the world. And uh, our turbines are consistently performing above 95% availability and uh, outputs right up there with the other wind farms in Lower North Island. Uh, and we've completed our IEC certification, which is to Class 1A Edition 3, uh, the toughest and most robust uh, wind sites uh, de definition uh, out there. So uh, we're one of the first in the world to get that Class 1A certification. Uh, Lloyd's Register in the UK have taken us through that process and signed off on the design uh, and all the manufacturing and quality aspects of our company. Uh, that has been uh, delivered over a period of many years of research and quite heavy expenditure by the, by the company, hasn't it? Oh yes, there's, uh, there's $26 million uh, of Windflow shareholders funds gone into this over the last nine years. Uh, that is small still compared to uh, what overseas wind power companies are doing in terms of investing in turbine development. You're talking hundreds of millions of dollars typically for, for some of those uh, turbine manufacturers to, to get through this commercialization phase. Uh, but we've done it the Kiwi way. Uh, my experience in the industry goes back uh, to the 80s in California. Uh, and uh, we've got a, a lighter, more cost-effective, uh, but very robust design, which is now proven. Uh, and we're ready to take it to the world. And the factory, uh, based in Christchurch, sources material from right around New Zealand? Yes, 92% uh, of the, the turbine uh, uh, procurement costs and manufacturing cost is, is spent in New Zealand. Uh, uh, we're, we're employing directly or indirectly about 400 people throughout New Zealand uh, and uh, so we've made a great contribution to innovation and uh, the, the technology-based knowledge economy that New Zealand needs to go forward. Now this particular week uh, you had two major events occur. One relates to your Windblades plant in Auckland. What was that about? Uh, we had a, a celebration at uh, IRL in Parnell where we've been doing the fatigue testing of, uh, of, of, of our blade. Uh, the, the blade uh, had been tested to uh, something like uh, 20 years uh, duty times a safety factor to, to comply with the IEC uh, codes. And, uh, and after that period, the blade was, had, had no detectable signs of damage, uh, so we've now gone ahead uh, and uh, we're fatigue testing it to, to failure. Uh, to do that we've had to increase the, the amplitude uh, by a factor of 2.5, so we're working the blade really, really hard now, and uh, as expected it's, it's failing. Um, it's the equivalent of about 4,000 years damage uh, to, to make this blade fail. Uh, and, and from an engineering point of view, the nice thing is that it's failing where we predicted uh, and when we predicted. We'll be back in a moment, part two, to talk about the opportunity in the U.S.